Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you about preschool math. I'm reviewing the, this preschool beginner math workbook. I created it with the two to four year old in mind. And before I created this workbook, I probably used all of the preschool workbooks out in the market for my children. I tried everything that was out there and I found a problem that I could not solve. So what were the problems that I saw? Well, a lot of these programs were not age appropriate. They were giving children things to do that they were not yet developmentally ready for. Um, also, a lot of them had important bits of information, but I could not find one single book that had all of the basic math concepts that are needed to be learned for kindergarten. Um, so they were either missing something or just had too much of one thing, and I couldn't find that one book that had all of the basic concepts. I also noticed that some of them were too hard, some of them were too easy, giving children busy work. And we all know what busy work looks like. Busy work is giving children um, exercises to do that do not have a particular aim, that do not have a particular standard or goal in mind. And it's just a complete waste of time because I felt like these workbooks were not preparing children for kindergarten math. And so I went ahead and I created my own workbook. Um, it's about a hundred and let's see, 120 pages. Um, and it has standards in mind. It has particular goals that it reaches so that it prepares the child for kindergarten math. Once the child is done with this workbook, they will be ready for kindergarten math. And so I had my preschooler do this throughout the year and she absolutely loved it. Um, it is made with particular standards in mind, easy enough that even an advanced two-year-old can do it. Why is that? Because the book doesn't require any writing. So if your child can draw a circle, make a line, can color, they can do the entire workbook. And this is important because there are a lot of preschoolers out there that do not know how to write yet, and because they don't know how to write, they are having to wait later to do curriculum and to do workbooks. And so this gives the child the ability to learn all of the basics for preschool math in a way that they can do it, that they feel confident. Um, and I like helping children build confidence because when, you, when the child builds confidence, that is a stepping stone um, that you're going to be able to use later for, when, for, what, for higher mathematics. So I want to show you inside the workbook because I want to show you all of the concepts that it teaches. I want to go ahead and bring my preschooler in here so that you can see her trying it out, um, so that you can get an idea on how um, the workbook, uh, what the workbook has to offer. So let's get started. Let me bring her in here. Okay, so let's get started here. I have Mrs. Emily, and I am going to be showing you a couple of pages of our book. So let's go over the concepts in the book so that you know what you're going to be finding in this wonderful workbook. So we have number recognition, one through 10. There's one thing to be able to count numbers, and there's another thing to be able to recognize each number and be able to point them out among other numbers. Here we have number quantity, the ability to be able to count objects up to 10 and find the quantity for each amount. We have shape recognition, be able to recognize the basic shapes. Positions such as above, below, in front, behind, inside, outside, to be able to know how to identify these different positions. Same and different. It's also another concept taught here. Visual discrimination, logic, sizing and measurement, and patterns. All right, so here we have um, a sample of the workbook here to show you. Here we have number quantity, and so the child is going to count those um, objects and then circle. Emily, can you count the screwdrivers there and circle for us? Yeah. The right amount? Go ahead and get started. measuring tapes do you see here? One, two, three. Okay, go ahead and circle the three there for us. Where is the three? On this side over here, the three. Good job, Emily. Now over here we have 
Number recognition. This is an example of number recognition. The child has to find all of the threes here. So Emily, we're going to go ahead and color. Get your favorite color and we're going to find all the number threes here. There's different activities for how to find the numbers and how to recognize the numbers. So this is a fun one. They have to color in all of the stars to find those number threes. Ready, Emily? Go ahead and get started. So a big part of the book is coloring and the reason for that is because Go ahead and color. You can get started, sweetheart. The reason for the coloring is because as children color, they're strengthening their fine motor skills and they're getting ready for writing. They're working on those muscles on their hands. I like using the triangular crayons because it helps work on the tripod grip and um, it really helps get children ready for writing. All right, yes. The next activity here is visual discrimination. So she needs to find, it says here, color all the happy faces yellow and all the sad faces blue. So there's two different instructions you have to follow, Emily. So get blue and get yellow, okay? Where's the yellow one? Do you have a yellow one in there? Here's yellow, all right. Blue and yellow. So you're going to color all the Happy faces, yellow. So let's start with the happy ones. Color them yellow. So this is good for following instructions. And again, this is visual discrimination. Visual discrimination is an important skill. As the child is, let's move our hands so our friends can see. So visual discrimination is an important skill because children need to be able to have good attention to detail. It's going to help them later on for their letters as they're able to recognize their letters and not get confused with letters that are very similar, such as K and H, B and P, and even their numbers, six and nine. Um, it's going to help them with numbers, with letters, with maps. Visual discrimination is a very important skill to master. And also following directions. So as you can see, she needs to remember that I told her that the happy faces are yellow and the sad faces are blue. So she's doing a very good job remembering that. Those are all little attention to detail that is going to help the child later on in all of their academic areas. Very good, Emily. Now we're going to move on to shape recognition. And... This is color each diamond blue. So let's get the color blue. Again, they're also practicing their color recognition as well because they have to follow the instructions of the book. Color all of the diamonds blue, Emily. And so she's going to find all of the colors, all of the diamonds, and color them blue. And this book has all of the basic shapes that children need to learn. And this is just a fun way. Kids really find it fun to color through things at the same time they're learning. So it's fun and educational at the same time. Okay, so the next activity here is finding the tallest in each row. So going back to sizing, this is finding the tall ones. So I'm mean, look at these ladders here. Which one of these is the tallest? Can you circle it for us? You circle it. Good job. The next one. Can you find the tallest giraffe? Giraffe. Yes, which one's the tallest? Very good. And now at the bottom. Which one is the tallest tree? Let's move your hand so you can see. The tallest tree. Yes, can you circle that for us? Good job. <coughs> and the last activity that I have to show in the book is this number recognition activity again. So the child needs to match the number by drawing a line. And so Emily, you're going to match these apples to the apples on the other side. We have to find the same apple. So this is what number? One. One. Can you find the one on this side and draw a line to match them? One. Okay, go ahead and draw a line to match them. Okay, go to the next number. Five, good. Keep going. Three, very good. It's like a slide. Yes. What else do you see there? Four. And 
What else do we have there? Two. Very good. So as you can see, it's a fun, easy book, and kids absolutely love it. Um, very simplistic, but at the same time, the kids are learning very important concepts. I've shown you just a few pages of the book. I don't want to spoil it for you, but as the book progresses, it gets harder. It has a lot of amazing activities for kids. Thanks for sharing, Emily. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, so there you have it. This is the Preschooler Beginner Math Workbook. I hope you have enjoyed an inside view of the workbook and what it has to offer. A lot of you share the concern that your children simply don't want to try any type of workbook. They don't want to try any type of sit-down work. And the minute you open up a workbook to try something, they run away. They don't want to try. And it's a real struggle. And I think that a lot of the times that this happens is because children feel like these workbooks that are out there in the market are simply out of the ballpark for them. They feel like they can't do it, it's just too hard. Or maybe they just, just don't understand it. So because they lack this confidence, they just don't even want to try. But this workbook was created with a small child in mind that children from two to four years old can easily give it a try. Um, as they're circling, they're coloring, they're drawing lines, they're having fun. At the same time, they're learning foundational concepts that are going to be needed for kindergarten math. So children that have tried the program have loved it so far. They beg their parents to do more. Um, just doing one to two pages a day is enough. And children really look forward to doing the program every single day. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Um, I already have the book up on Amazon. Um, you can get it in print form like this in a workbook, or you can get it on my Teachers Pay Teacher store, where you can print out page by page. If you guys give it a try, please leave me your wonderful reviews at Amazon. I love to read them um, and how your kids love the program. I will link all of the links below in the description box of the video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Until the next time, bye-bye.